Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Bed with Behini. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what it do? All right, that is not going away. Okay, it's gonna be here forever. I'm just saying. Um, again, you're welcome. If you're new, hi, my name is Akosia Behini. Okay, my name is Akosia Behini, and I am your podcast host okay ever faithful <laughs> just a recap a quick recap of last week's episode we talked about productivity and you know just basically a lot of things that helped me to stay productive as a mom and as a millennial so definitely go ahead and check out that video she's linked up here as well as in the description box for you guys as always um just a little life update i am still um i'm picking my morning routine back up again i'm picking routines back up again for whatever reason i lost touch with my routine i don't know why and i'm also juicing i started juicing that's really exciting um i haven't like juiced ever but now i'm making a conscious effort to add it into my like daily lifestyle and i feel like that's definitely something that i'm looking forward to so that's exciting um but yeah in today's episode it's just really chilled vibes not really chilled the topic is not chilled because today's episode i'm talking everything boundaries and how to set healthy boundaries at least what i know so far what I know has worked for me so far is always what I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So if you're thinking these boundaries that people are always talking about, what is it? This is a video. Okay. This is definitely um, the podcast episode that you should be watching because boundaries for me is something that as Africans, we struggle with boundaries. Let me just say that. <laughs> uh, no, let me just say that coming from an African home um from a Ghanaian home we barely know what boundaries are we don't talk about them like what is boundaries respect yourself your house is my house your food is my food your matter is my matter and that's just the living back home and if we're talking boundaries that is legit nothing around boundaries um i feel like in africa um majority of the things you don't talk about and it's just generational it's just what has been going on for years so who are you to come out of nowhere to have boundaries all these strict rules for family members and friends and you know loved ones and whatnot no so it's definitely um a learning process if you come from an african home especially for me um i've had to you know learn how to do certain things that will help me instill boundaries in certain areas of my life and today i'm just going to be sharing that with you now i know a lot of people will say how like how do you know if you don't have boundaries and let me just say that I've, that's the first thing i wanted to say because like this is how you know that you have to start setting boundaries in your life or in certain areas in your life okay one big thing is people pleasing it means that you personally don't have boundaries and people pleasing is something that i feel like a lot of people deal with especially me okay um growing up in the type of home that i grew up in and um i feel like also growing up i was always expected to do well in school because i guess i grew i grew up being um one of like you know i grew up being intelligent and so whatever that came with some sort of pressure like you always had to be in the first three you always had to be um come home with some sort of like you know reports and yada yada so growing up for me i have always like felt like there's an expectation of me i know that like my mom expects this of me my dad expects me to get this grade in school and you know i have always gotten this grade so i have to keep getting this grade just to live up to you know that kind of name that i have um and that definitely you know grows up to be i would say some somewhat of like a people pleasing attitude if if that is um if you get what i'm saying but yeah 
it definitely it definitely stems from that at least for me so you need to also look into it and then ask yourself where a lot of the things would be stemming from for you now that is one thing people pleasing is definitely something that if you do a lot then you should know that you probably need to start setting some boundaries for yourself um another thing is if you find it very difficult to say no to people that's another problem if you're always in people's businesses like your nose is always in somebody else's business have you finished talking about your business no you need to start setting some boundaries for your mouth and yourself (laughs) that's just all i'm gonna say (laughs) you know so they're sending things and then if you're oversharer if you're the type of person who you know always oversharing um information about yourself just i don't know just uh, i don't know but there are a lot of people who definitely overshare information about themselves and if you find yourself always sharing information about yourself that is not actually needed in that time or like that is not needed at all then you know that you need to start setting some personal boundaries for yourself so generally there's certain things that will show you um that you need to start setting boundaries for yourself and there are things about other people that will show you um that you need to start setting boundaries for other people as well now boundaries obviously can be in like all different areas of your life we have work boundaries you have at home boundaries you have personal boundaries you know you have financial boundaries so i guess the points that i'm going to be sharing with you guys will be just general um just generally how to set boundaries um and just healthy boundaries and how to start off setting boundaries especially if you're an african girl or you know african child who is like definitely on a journey to setting boundaries healthy boundaries um in a way that can work in an african home in an african home then definitely um i know i say a lot of definitely but you get what i'm saying (laughs) Uh, but this is going to be the video for you i'm going to try to stop saying definitely as much as i've been saying it um but yeah let me just go ahead and share with you guys everything that i have personally done you guys know that points are always on my phone so this is no news this is no news at this point the one way um the one way that you know i listed everything okay i listed everything and said that when you see this when you see this when you see this this is how you know that you have to start setting the boundaries for yourself now the first way that i feel like you can start setting healthy boundaries for yourself it starts by respecting other people's boundaries okay respect other people's boundaries know what boundaries other people have set in place for themselves and then respect those boundaries another way that um you can you know help you set your own boundaries is trying to like know you know i i feel like i want to construct that side well <laughs> knowing other boundaries that people have set for themselves sometimes can also help you to set setting boundaries for yourself because sometimes you really don't know what and how to go about setting boundaries for yourself so sometimes when you have some people in your life and you see what boundaries they've set for themselves and you tend to respect that boundary you're like oh that's a cool boundary i want to have that for myself you know and sometimes some boundaries can be very rigid and some boundaries can be very loose you don't want to have a boundary that's like too rigid because then that doesn't make you a people's person you know you still want to be nice and friendly and respectful but then also have that you know structure in your life and for other people to let them know that this is what i'm going to take and this is not um this is what i'm not going to take so start by respecting other people's boundaries and then that way you can also see what kind of boundaries you want to set for yourselves um in regards to the relationship that you have with them you know so that one i just wanted to add that to the first point one way that you can help yourself respect other people's boundaries is knowing when to i I think a great example will be like we are having conversations conversations with your friend like a friend called you or a partner anybody you know somebody has called you or you know your husband whatever and you guys are talking and they're talking about something that regards them or something that they are going through or something that they want to share with you and then you start to talk about and this is something that we all do but i guess it's an eye opener so that way you know what to what and when and how to go about it okay so when they're talking about themselves or in a situation that 
they're going through wanting to, you to listen to them and be just that ear and person for them you tend to also tell them things about yourself or you tend to like you know make yourself also sort of like the subject when it's not really about you like when someone tries to like share whatever they're going through with you sometimes all you can do is just listen to them especially when you don't have anything to say back to them you don't have like any good advice or like any good experience that can help them or like actual help that they're looking for sometimes all you can do is listen don't put yourself in the situation and act like it's about you so that's one way that you know that you need to start setting boundaries or respecting um, other people's boundaries okay I just wanted to add that to it now the next point for me um, would be to communicate clearly it's always key communication is communication is key in so many areas in life and it can literally make or break um you know a relationship a friendship anything communication is the biggest factor in everything okay everything so when you set when you tend to start setting the healthy boundaries for yourself you need to be able to communicate them with the people around you respectfully and i'll always say respectfully because sometimes boundaries may come across as you're being rude and that's if you're not communicating them well if the next party doesn't exactly understand what you're trying to say to them or where you're coming from or how you feel in general they would see it as like disrespect or like you're doing too much or you feel like you're all that and they have every right to feel like that you know there's there's a lot of noise in the background today i'm sorry guys <laughs> but the whole family is home so i guess yeah but you want to communicate okay when you set these boundaries for yourself you want to communicate and not be rude about them yes don't be rude about them just be respectful with your approach um and respectful doesn't mean that you're you're like doing yourself a disservice okay sometimes you know sometimes if you don't communicate the boundaries so well it doesn't it doesn't come across as it can it may come across as like okay you feel like you're all that be in your corner let me be in my corner so you always want to communicate your boundaries very clearly let the next party know that i'm not trying to tell you to do this i'm just trying to tell you to respect my space my opinion um my emotion you know it's just that mutual respect knowing when and when um when to respect someone's you know it's just just respect i feel like boundaries honestly is a lot about respect if you ask me because if i respect your space if i respect you as a person it will be very easy for me to respect the boundaries that you've set in place for yourself and for us so it's just all about respect for me because you don't expect people to just know or don't assume that people will magically know how you feel or you know what you want to be done to you or how you want to be treated so you always want to communicate how you feel and um, exactly how you want people to treat you and approach you okay my next point is set some healthy boundaries for yourself personally so before you go about setting boundaries that affects like your relationship and your workplace and start setting personal boundaries and when i say personal boundaries for me that would be i'm not gonna drink alcohol on sunday like you know like that would be like monday because i don't go to work on monday i go to work on tuesdays so i will not drink alcohol on like tuesday night or monday nights because i know that tuesday morning i have to go to work that is my boundary I don't want to wake up sluggish in the morning and that's not a boundary that somebody's forcing on me that's a boundary that i have to respect for my own self another thing is um financial boundary personal financial boundary for me would be i'm not gonna let my i'm not gonna touch my savings account until i need to actually take something out of it to take care of my family or to you know do some emergency uh, that's like a 
an example of a financial boundary that you set for yourself is that you have the savings accounts that you're not touching until you actually have something that needs you to take out of that savings account that's one another thing is a work boundary personal work boundary for you would be you have to get to work on time because you're paid to get to work on time and do the job so i guess that's to me i'm not gonna lie i'm saying that to my own self <laughs> Because I'm like always a minute late or two minutes late. And I'm like, wow. I feel bad. I feel really bad. But yeah. <laughs> it's you so you start by setting healthy boundaries for yourself. Just just a few personal boundaries here and there. That definitely helps you to set outside boundaries, external boundaries that affect other people because you know how to set the boundaries for yourself. You know how to respect your own boundaries. So it makes it a lot more easier for other people around you to respect the boundaries that you have. And it just keeps going and it just keeps growing. So start by setting personal boundaries, um, which you respect for yourself. And not like waiting for other people to respect those boundaries. If you get what I'm saying. But my last point will be be consistent um, with your boundaries. Okay, like again, don't be too rigid. But you want to be consistent. You want to make sure that these are boundaries that you respect for yourself. This is something that you're doing every single time of your life. So it makes it a lot more people to see the consistency of the boundaries. Now, if you're telling someone, don't treat me this way today. And then tomorrow they treat you that way and you take it. And then the next day you want them to go back to respecting the boundary. No, where's the consistency? So you need to have some consistency. If you want me to treat you that way, let me keep treating you that way because that's the boundary that you have for yourself. But if you shift <laughs> and now you want me to go back to respecting your boundaries again, if you don't respect your own boundaries, how do you want me to respect your boundaries? You get what I'm saying? So always, always, always um, be consistent with the boundaries that you set for yourself personal boundaries that you set for yourself respect them be consistent and that's how you know that you're staying true to your word to you and that's how people are going to stay true to their word to you and i'm going to repeat that again setting the healthy boundaries personal healthy boundaries for yourself and respecting them that's how you know that you are staying true to your word for yourself and that's how other people are going to stay true to their word to you because they see how you respect yourself they see how you carry yourself and they see how you respect the boundaries and the healthy you know relationship that you sort of have with yourself and then it tends to like you know travel along and they treat you like that so I'm going to do a recap, um, just a quick recap of all the points that I have shared. Um, and the first one definitely starts by respecting other people's boundaries. Okay. Respect other people's boundaries. And then the second point, communicate your boundaries very clearly. You always want to make sure that you're communicating the boundaries and not assuming that people would just know how to treat you or how to, you know, you know relate to you you want to always make sure that you're communicating that out to people the third point is you need to also set some healthy boundaries for yourself as a person so your finances your this your that you know your routines and whatever you need to make sure that you have boundaries set in place and you are respecting them so that way you can get other people to very easily respect boundaries that you have and then the last point again is be consistent with the boundaries you don't want to be up and down today you want people to respect the boundaries tomorrow you're not respected about you what are you doing okay we need to have some consistency going on so if you want us to treat you this way always act like you want us to treat you that way but if today you're taking shit and tomorrow you're not taking shit we don't see the consistency so always always give us one person and not two people <laughs> that's just all i'm gonna say <laughs> so that is it for today's episode i absolutely loved every point that i've shared with you guys but before i go away as always you guys know that i'll ask you comment below okay 
take a second comment below let me and my audience know everybody that is going to be reading let them know um what are some healthy boundaries that you've set for yourself or how do you go about setting boundaries for yourself a last point that i want to add a last point and i said it in the beginning but i still want to add it say no without feeling guilty okay say no without feeling guilty i struggled with that for so long and i think i've come to a place where i can very easily say no because if it's not working for me if it doesn't work with my schedule if it doesn't work with my time if i didn't make time for it i'm not going i'm not doing it i'm not doing the just say and find him what i say like say no without feeling guilty and respectfully okay say no and let them you know let the next party know that um very respectfully i'm gonna decline very respectfully okay i'm not trying to disrespect you i'm not trying to um disregard the fact that you've given me an invitation or whatnot but no thank you i'll pass el paso <laughs> i don't know where that came from but yeah that's just a bonus point that i wanted to add to every point that i've given you guys share with me below let me know how you have built healthy boundaries for yourself or how you're going about setting those healthy boundaries for yourself as always i love you guys i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching follow me on instagram akosia behini akosia behini and also follow me on tiktok because i'm on tiktok doing all the cute girl stuff so definitely follow me on tiktok i love you virtual hats as always and i will see you guys in the next episode of it Bye.